Hey guys, Neo here, and uh, welcome to Arrow Rock State Park in Missouri. Uh, what are we doing here? Well, we're doing an OBS tutorial. That's right, I'm doing it uh, from a state park. Something different, something new. Okay, so, uh, in the, the last episode, we covered the basic setup of Open Broadcaster, where to get it, where, how to download it, how to install it, and ran over the basics of the UI. Uh, today is going to be another short, well, today it's going to be a short video, and we are going to cover on, cover how to set it up for streaming to Hitbox. Uh, I'm not going to use Twitch for this example, because I don't have a test stream for Twitch. I do have a test stream for Hitbox, so it's not going to hit my live, you know, my live stream, live, live stream, stream live, you know what I mean. Uh, so we're going to use Hitbox, but the, the example is pretty much the same. We're going to show you how to calculate, or an easy way to calculate what resolution you can stream at uh, based off your bandwidth. Uh, hardware requirements will be a little bit different because, well, well, I actually, I think the program that I'm going to use to sh or show you this actually does take a little bit of that into consideration. And then we're going to show you how to set up for local recording and what YouTube recommends for the bit for the uh, encoder settings and stuff of that nature during that. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump in here. Let's open up our OBS. Whoop. Have it right there. Ha ha. Look at that. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is go over here to settings, which is actually here. Yep, sorry, dog's running around behind me, kind of trying to keep track of her too. Okay, next we go under stream, and we're gonna choose hitbox from the list here. And server, you can leave it as default, and it'll figure out which one's the best, or you can you know, choose from the list here uh, which one you think will be the best based off your loca your location. Like for me, I would choose probably the one in Denver, but for this uh, tutorial, we're going to leave it default. What do you need after that? Well, it's actually really, really simple. Let's go over here to Hitbox. And if you log into Hitbox and you have a Hitbox account or your you know Twitch account, you can go and you know show your stream key, get your stream key, grab it which this will be changing after this tutorial. I don't care if you see it because this is my test stream and well, like I said, I will be changing it rather shortly. Uh, then all you have to do is come over here to your stream key and paste that in. All I did was uh, on the other screen was highlight it, hit control C to copy it. Here I just clicked in the box and hit control V to paste. And as you can see, it pastes it right in there. Hit apply and to get it going, that's all you have to do. But you need to know what resolution and bitrate and all that you should be streaming at or what you're capable of doing because you always want to leave a little bit of overhead in your bandwidth for other things uh, such as chat or having to download random stuff during the stream things of that nature chat watch a stream yourself so what we want to do is we're going to go over here to obsproject.com slash estimator the link will be down there in the description and here you can, it will give you a good idea of what all you can do. So what kind of CPU CPU you have? Okay, I have an AMD APU. We are running, uh, yeah, 6600 or higher, because I believe I have a 70 something, something, something dark side in here. Uh, what kind of game are you streaming? High motion action, e.g. FPS, first person MMO. Uh, medium motion, RTS games, games which involve scrolling, etc. Low motion, static action, etc. etc. So for this example, we'll leave it on you know the high motion FPS. Uh, how fast is your upload speed? Well, if you need to know that, uh, I'm using the state parks Wi-Fi. Yes, the state parks here in Missouri, most of them have Wi-Fi. And I've already ran the speed test, but you can go to speedof.me. Uh, again, link will be in the description, and it will tell you. And the reason I choose this is because it uses HTML5 instead of Flash or Java, so it will work with all browsers, all devices, whether you have Flash installed or not, which is great. So my upload speed here at the park is only a measly 820 KBS. So we go over to the back to the estimator, and we type, stick that in, and I want to, I like streaming 1280 just because, you know, uh, or 720p because 720p just seems to work uh, and on this laptop honestly I can't do a 1080p because it has a 1366 by 768 display which is you know more or less 1280p so we click recommend settings and it's going to tell us to set the base resolution to 480p 
Uh, we're going to set the FPS to 25. And it's going to give you the, you know, consider using Ultra Fast, Super Fast X264 uh, presets if you experience high CPU usage. So, there you go. That's uh, how you would calculate that. So, next we would go back to our OBS. OBS. Hello. There you are. And we are going to go over to Output. And this is where you would enter in all this information. See, bitrate, what did it say? Why do I have two of those open? I don't. Oh, look at that. It's just acting weird, probably because I'm recording. All right, I forgot what it said. Oh, wait, no, I'm just being a dork. Excuse me, I have a dorky moment. Okay, what did it say? 480p, what was the bitrate that it said? Try to aim for the highest bitrate possible for high motion games. Uh, no, that's not very useful now, is it? Recommended max bitrate 697. There we go. And this is based off of our network. Recommended buffer size is 418. I have a little spider crawling across the top of my laptop. So if you see a little white, if you see a giant spider crawl across the webcam, well, he's not really giant. Really, he's not. Okay, so 697 of 418. So we go in here, bitrate 697. And then we custom buffer size would go. I, da, 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 custom up there we go and 419 we'd stick that in there as such leave CBR we're going to set it to very fast like it recommended and uh, really that's all we're going to do under streaming we're going to hit apply we're going to hit OK and then we're going to tell it to start streaming and see what happens uh, it is now connecting 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 mm, coffee and there we are, we are connected. It is, uh, mind you, CPU usage is a little bit high because I am recording this while streaming with separate software. But now if we go over to our hitbox and we go to dashboard, we should be able to see that indeed we are live, provided the state parks Wi-Fi will permit us to do such. And can we have a drum roll? Boom, chakalaka, laka, 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 boom, chakalaka, laka, 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 boom. I'll shut up. Yeah, you're right. Totally. Totally right. Okay, so that's not working. Because, well, yeah. Let's go, let's go to NeoCryptic. Test. And let's see. Loading. Here we go with the loading. A loading. A shoom ba ba loo a ba boo a ba boo. Here we go. It's coming up. Would you like to show notifications from the sure? Why not? Why not? Sounds good, right? I think it does. And this is again state Wi-Fi, state park Wi-Fi. So it's going to be a little bit on the sluggish side. Okay, do this. And when it pops up, <laughs> we should theoretically see my stream after we get slimed. Yay, we got slimed! Lonnie, get over here! Dog, you know how it goes. Come on! Cobb, good girl. Good girl. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Up, up, say hi! Say hi! Yeah, say hi! Alright, go play! Uh, play maybe? Can we play? I want to play. Do you want to play? Oh, good look. The volume is already on the dark, dark side of things. Make sure it's still streaming here. Yeah? Cool. Yeah. We're getting a lot of drop frames though, but, you know, again, that is the probably the Wi-Fi here. <laughs> if you're not connected to a really, really, really crappy interwebs, you should be able to just go to your stream and auto magically go oh look we are online we are streaming and we are good to go and that like i said that process is pretty much the same for any streaming service you want to use whether it's twitch uh daily motion since i started streaming hitbox etc 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 there is a whole huge list uh in here let's go ahead and stop this there is a whole huge list in here if we go under stream Oh, well, it's not as big as it used to be. But we got Twitch, we got YouTube, we got Hitbox, Beam, etc. Daily Motion, live coding, whatever. 
so process is pretty much the same okay so let's figure out for local local study, uh, recording so over here uh, you might notice that this is different we cut looked at this last time I have the advanced tab open so you know we're doing the uh, we have all the advanced options if you go over here under recording uh, what I recommend this is a question I get asked a lot uh, about the old OBS. So OBS by default wants to record to FLV. Uh, all you gotta do here is click on it, select MP4 or whatever your desired format is, and it will record to that format. In the old version, you put you just have to change the extension of your video. Uh, see, for encoder, we're not going to use the stream encoder. We are going to set this to video coding engine, ba bam, like so. We're gonna cleave that as you know, pretty much we're going to leave this stock. You can change your bitrate up as high as you want. Obviously, the higher the bitrate, the larger the fails. Fail? <laughs> yes, that was a fail. The larger the file size, but the higher quality of the video. So that's something to keep in mind there. Uh, under advanced down here, we have low latency and a bunch of other stuff that you don't really need to worry about. If you want to worry about it... Um, by all means, you can look that up online. We're not going to go into it in this tutorial. Uh, or you can ask me, and I'd be happy to try and explain it to you. So we're going to leave audio track to one. We'll get into the advanced audio features later. Uh, to be perfectly honest about the advanced audio features of uh, OBS multi-platform, I'm still kind of playing with them. I have a good grasp of how they work uh, at this point. But there's still a few minor things I want to work out before I go into telling you guys how to do it you how do you do how do you do that how do you use them and what they do uh we are going to go to rescale output and we are going to change this to um why isn't 1280 or 720p showing up here um yeah well i was going to change it to 780 or 720 i cannot talk I wonder if I can just type that in, 1280, yes I can, cool. So you can just uh, click in there and type in the resolution you want, or you can choose it from the list. We're going to rescale to 1280 by 720, uh, as I said, under audio, we're going to leave all this alone. You can, what, one thing I would recommend, and I actually I'm going to change this, I take it back, is uh, match your audio output for recording and streaming because this audio tab covers both uh, to the bitrate that your computer is using by default and in my case I have it set to use 192 bit so we are going to set it all to 192 and the reason we want to do this is it actually makes it a little bit easier um, on the computer because it's already using its, its native uh, audio bitrate so it doesn't have to try and rehash the bitrate and then we're going to click apply and now what we're going to do though is before we start actually recording anything we're going to open up our browser again and then we are going to go to support.google.com slash youtube and slash answer slash blah 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 and look the recommended upload encoding set, set uh, settings i cannot talk i just I, I just can't do it i just i can't talk Anyway, okay, so <laughs> recommended upload encoding is advanced. Uh, I'll have the link down in the description for this as well. Uh, container, we they prefer MP4, uh, audio codec, ACC is what they what it prefers with uh, 96 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz sample rate. Uh, video codec, they like the H.264, which we all love H.264. And if you don't love H.264, well, that's your preference. <laughs> frame rates, common frame rates, blah, 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 bit rate. Now, this is where we get into the meat and potatoes. Down here, um, video bit rate, standard rates, video bit rate, high frame rates. So, if you want to have, say, you know, anything above 30, you're going to want a 53 to 68 megabit, uh, megabit bit, bit encoding file. Or, oh, man, I cannot talk. <gasps> You know, 53 to 68 megabit bit rate. There we go. I can do that. And that's for, but that is for 2160p. So in our case, we're going to be use 720p. So we want a 7.5 uh, megabit bit rate. So what I do is go back over here to your recording tab under bit rate. We want to put it to 7500. Pretty simple, right? Cool. 
And honestly, what I do is I usually rank, just crank it up because, yeah, it's going to be a larger file size, but the quality is going to come. And I usually set it to, you know, 50 is where I set it at and call it good. And yes, yes, that's what I do. Okay, so <clears throat> the recommended audio, again, you know, mono 128 kbs, stereo 384 kbs, etc. Resolution and aspect ratio. So, to, and this, you know, this is a no-brainer here. So, you know, 1440p is 2050 or 2560 by 1440. Uh, 10a is 1920, etc., etc. And you know, that's pretty much that's pretty much it right there so now if we go down here and we hit up uh, we already did hit apply we are on top of this and i didn't even know it so we have it set to record to mp4 it is going to go to uh c users alan which is my name videos right so we're good we should be good to go now if i hit start recording it should be now recording my desktop and spinning it out to a file we, okay so now we hit stop recording and we can go to our videos and we should have a video there hello computer can you please can you oh wait we're streaming oh, oh why did I hit the wrong button did I hit stream I did not want to hit stream no tell me I didn't hit stream um I don't know did I or did I not let's find out let's see what this is It should be now recording. <laughs> it should be now recording. Yeah, I hit the wrong button. That's something else, I think. Okay, so let's hit start recording. We are recording. We are recording a stream, a thing with stuff, and there it goes populating with the new file. And if we hit the stop recording button, oh yeah, the stop recording button. I'm in a goofy mood. I haven't slept for days. Just FYI. So now if we open this up, we should have my lovely, lovely uh, acapella session and see the screen. Eh, I guess we didn't let it record long enough. It, if you uh, do too short of a clip, it sometimes does things like that. But anyway, that is literally it. That is how easy it is to set up. It should be... <laughs> That's how easy it is to set up, to stream, and to record for YouTube. What you do with your local recording file is up to you, obviously. So now, uh, that all that out of the way, make sure you hit that like button if you like the video, of course. Um, if you want to see, if you're new to the channel, welcome, and make sure you hit that subscribe button for more great tutorials, gameplay, etc., etc., etc. Any insanity that I decide to post to the channel will go here. Um, Unless it's on my Neo Cryptorials channel, which will be strictly tutorials. Um, yeah, so yeah, guys, uh, if you want, if you have a specific question over the software, down there, down there, hello, down there, yeah, down there, in the uh, comments, let me know what you would like to know and uh, what you think the next tutorial should be over. Uh, what I have planned, oh, I don't have not have my phone next to me. I actually made a list, kind of structuring out the way I was going to set these tutorials up. Um, so I will not tell you today what I have planned for the next tutorial because I don't have my phone. I have my coffee cup. Zebra brand. So, yeah, anyway, uh, if you have a specific question or you'd like to see a specific tutorial over this or any other software that pertains to recording or streaming, please let me know in the descriptions. And until next time, guys, have fun, and I hope you found this useful.